Hi everyone, it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you an update because uh, there's a few things to go for. I'll split it into a few videos. So this one is about irrigation and rainfall and that stuff. So yeah, uh, recently we've had a lot of rain go uh, around us. So um, yesterday there was lots of torrential rain, you know, places very close to us getting 16 to 20 mil in about an hour. Um, we got half a mil fell across this site in that time. So uh, yeah, and we had a nice downpour midweek, about three mil. Um, so yeah, that's what's gone across the site recently. For rainfall wise for this month, uh, for June, we're on 30, 34 mil now. Um, and since April, we've had uh, 80, just uh, eight, mid eighties we've had. Uh, put it in context, last May, we had 122 mil in that month alone. So, um, yeah, like I say, all the showers that hit us last year are not hitting us this year. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, our irrigation lake is quite small compared to the amount of irrigation heads we have. Um, so we've put in for a irrigation reservoir. So that's all in planning permission just with the council at the moment. As soon as that's approved, um, work will start on that reservoir, which is going over on 10. Um, yeah, that will... Um, enable us to uh, match the evaporation uh, with what we can add back into the soil. At the moment we're losing, in a hot week, say last week, we lost about between 25 and 35 mil out of the soil um, uh, back up again and we were able to replace uh, six. So that's, you know, on fairways, on greens, tees and approaches is a bit different. We've got enough water to cover those, but like I say, with fairways you need a lot to cover those areas. Um, so hence the reason we put this reservoir in, it's going to be five times the size of my current lake and just give us enough water to tackle all the problems, oh, sorry, or tackle all the uh, areas we need to tackle and make sure we can keep uh, keep it looking how we want it to, to look without having to worry about, you know, when we're going to get rain, if we're not going to get rain, this, that and the other. So yeah, um, looking forward to that going in. The, um, the system itself is working very well. Um, spent a lot of money replacing all the heads that damaged uh, over the years, so pretty much only got a few left to do on tees at the moment we're up to the point where we're upgrading uh, certain ones on approaches so say around the second bunker on the right hand uh, second green side bunker on the right hand side there is an approach sprinkler near it obviously it's uh, aimed just to hit the approach so what we're doing is replacing it one with it's got double sided nozzles that will um hit the uh, water the edges of the bunker too so we're able to actually control that whole area from that just that one sprinkler so we're upgrading where we can we're upgrading these sprinklers so we've actually got um, no more water going to more areas and like I say as we get into having our reservoir as opposed to a pond um, it will mean that obviously these areas like certain bunker edges and stuff will be far more uh, playable and we're able to keep on top of them better than we currently are uh, so yeah that's that. Uh, onto the bunkers. Um, obviously, all the new bunkers for this phase have been built. We're just growing in the surrounds. Um, Nine and eleven growing quite nicely. Ten's a little bit behind purely because those rolls stayed rolled up 24 hours longer than the other ones, and the ones on the bottom level, level started to sweat. So um, they'll pop. They'll come back. No issues with that at all. They just look a bit, you know, at the moment. But as I say we got all water going to them they'll be absolutely fine um yeah so i say please don't play off those surrounds at the moment until we get them in play uh so while they're knitting so the roots are coming out really nicely so it shouldn't take too long but obviously i don't want to throw them straight into play and then and not to be able to take it so it would be not yeah, it just wouldn't be a wise move um all the sands obviously still quite fresh so it still needs to bed in obviously with the lack of rain um we they're not just getting you know just not bedding in as quickly as i want them to we are hand watering them so we're hand watering all the sand in these bunkers to get them going um the way we want them to but just bear with us while we keep compacting them um yeah so they're going to be brilliant as we go forward but like i say we're just trying to get enough water into them at the moment so that we can compact this sand nicely and get it as playable as the other ones on 14 and one um so yeah the older bunkers i've just ordered a load of bunker sieves so we can start tackling the stone issues in these um so next couple of weeks those sieves should turn up and then we can start you know um, tackling these stone issues and getting new sand into the ones over the other side of the road especially and a few this side of the road 
um because obviously the side of the road we're going to be upgrading these ones first so um the next ones on the list is either um 18 17 or 16 green sides uh, probably 18. um so yeah looking forward to getting on them done i'll give you more information about them when we have them like i say we're tackling the old ones and topping them up and uh that'll all start from next week so yeah right other projects and uh course accessories so um when we got nine or the surrounds growing back in on nine ten and eleven when they're i'm happy with them and they can sustain it we'll be getting water down and getting the turf down onto 13 and 14 to finish them off i don't want to have loads of different areas of turf around the course having to water so especially this time of year um so yeah we'll finish off like i say be happy with these ones around the bunker surrounds and then move on down to those ones and so we can tackle them and get them going um the uh, ditch on 13, obviously we're going to neaten that up, uh, make a waterfall feature out of one end of it, going down onto the outflow, uh, filling it a little bit more so it's um, not quite as in play as it currently is. And um, yeah, it's going to be a nice feature down there. Uh, I'll give more information on that when we're down there doing it. Um, we've got new tea markers arriving soon. Uh, I've got all new ball washers already in the sheds. Um, just working on tea posts uh, so we can put new tea signs up. And uh, yeah, so that should all be happening in the next couple of months. The, um, let's say tea market should be in the next couple of weeks, to be honest, or next few weeks, sorry. Um, the uh, 150 posts have arrived now, so we can start getting them out soon. And um, yeah, lots of stuff going on. We've got new bins ordered. Not 100% sure when they're gonna arrive. Um, they're bespoke ones so yeah we've got a few ordered just to sort of sort of give an example and then we'll keep on ordering more they're uh yeah they're really nice i'm uh, looking forward to getting them in and getting them out on the course uh yeah um obviously as we go into the winter we've got a whole winter program going on there and i'll cover that more near the time but the main ones would be the first t area and 14 t area both getting sorted out they're the main projects through the winter there'll be other lots of other stuff going on but they're the, the main ones um, those of you that um, haven't played the course yet this week will notice that we've started tackling the long rough um, yeah the idea of this is that um, we want to encourage the finer grasses to come through so we've still got a penalizing long rough but it's uh, easier to find your ball looks better it helps define the areas more but currently it's just too thick full of thick grasses weeds what we're doing will help get rid of all that and uh i say courage the fire grass is pretty, pretty much like up in 16 17. so yeah, really looking for all of that coming through to fruition it's the start of a long process but it's going to be mid once it's all done right well cheers for all that and um i will see you all soon no doubt um if you've got any questions or anything um best to email me Email is j.bonfield at thgcc.co.uk. Uh, if you need that again, just message and I'll give you the email again. So yeah, take care. See you all soon. Bye.